the, the mind is somehow a co-creator in the process of reality through acts of language. And language is very, very mysterious. I mean, it is true magic. People run all over the place looking for paranormal abilities. But notice that when I speak, if your internal dictionary matches my internal dictionary, that my thoughts cross through the air as an acoustical pressure wave and are reconstructed inside your cerebral cortex as your thought, your understanding of my words. Telepathy exists. It's just that the carrier wave is small mouth noises. All so-called primitive people know that the world is made of language that you sing it into existence, that what you say it is, is what it is, that it is maintained in existence by an act of rational apprehension. And it's, it's only science which has taken this very weird approach and said, no, no, the, uh, the world is somehow independent from the act of description. And uh, this is not a situation where we have two separate points of view, both uh, open-hearted and, uh, and trying their best to, to work hard for you. Science, science carried out its analysis of nature to the point where it shot itself in the foot. Science carried out an analysis of nature that went to such depth that it discovered that nature doesn't exist except as an object of description. That there are no little objects winging their way through empty space. There is only a situation describable by multi-leveled fishy formula and when you drop a mind into that situation, the fishy formula can dense out into a little particle which can be measured. Mind is necessary for the world to undergo the formality of existing. This is what quantum physics teaches. Unfortunately, this news has not reached the other sciences. This is a, a, a real failure on the part of science.